Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you a couple tricks to installing belts on a 3D printer and tightening them up. These can be a rather pain. So one of the things I do is I thread the belt through, and I try to take a little Allen wrench as I'm threading this through, or any type of just little thin object, and pull the belt through. This one's giving me a little bit of difficulty. There it is. It's coming through. And then the other important thing to have is a pair of hemostats. Uh, and I'll show you why. Well, actually for a couple different reasons. So number one, we're going to pull the belt through. And we're going to leave it a little bit proud. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clamp the two belts together where, they, where the teeth are to the teeth. So the teeth are actually interwoven sort of like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the zip strips and put two zip strips on each side. Uh, now I like to have the um, the notch on the zip strip facing up. Then what I do is I take a pair of pliers like this and just kind of use this to pull it tight and then I use another pair just to clip it off like that. And Again it's pretty much a rinse and repeat for the second one and I like to have them going in the same direction too. So, um, you know, I think maybe some people could argue going in opposite would be better tension wise, but cosmetically, um, I think one will hold just fine. But I like to have two a little bit of belt and suspenders, if you will. And again, I pull it tight with that. Make sure that's tight and clip this one off. Now, Here's where the other piece comes in. Now, make doubly sure your your belt's on your pulleys and everything, and coming back around on your pulleys and it's not twisted inside the maker rail. And then on this one, it's going to be a little bit of the opposite. So this one's going to go down, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a small Allen wrench, on a smaller one, and going to clip this and feed this through until I can get it with the hemostats. And we're going to pull, pull this out. Just like this. And again, we want to make doubly sure because it's come off our belt, our pulley, sorry. Our belt has come off our pulleys. And again, we want to make sure it's straight and not flipped over, or else we'll have to redo this. Now, this gets a little bit harder to pull, so you really have to torque hard to get it to tension up. And again, you want to make sure it's on all the pulleys. I usually just like to feel, make sure it hasn't slipped across. And as you pull it this way like this, the teeth will grab onto here. But the problem becomes, as you're doing this, and usually what I like to do is pull the top belt. I don't know if you can hear it, but it has clicked several more times since I pulled that. And because what's happening is the teeth are grabbing on there now. Here's where the trick comes in because now if you don't have another set of hands to put these on, then what we're going to do is we're going to hold this kind of, make sure this stays tight. We're going to get this lined up, and then we're going to take the hemostats, and we're going to lock them down. And now I can take both hands off. My belt is still extremely tight. And now I can go ahead and I can do my um, zip strip ties. So again, just kind of repeat them the same way. Now, tighten that one up. This one I'm going to do a little bit out further. So one of the things you notice, I've got this much area before it had technically hit this belt, where the carriage, where this um, carriage isn't going to come past this piece anyway. So I can actually leave uh, a little bit of extra material or, or belt 
on here. So, um, lost my last zip strip. Ah, here we are. We found it. So, uh, one of the things on this, I'm going to actually uh, do this one a little bit further out so I can leave some belt material just in case. So this one I'm going to do, whoops, helps if I put it the right way through, there we go. So this one I'm going to leave a little bit further out than the other one because the one is actually um, enough to hold hold it taut. And I'm just gonna because usually what I do is I put this on here and I twist it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, so I, I put it on the zip strip, twist it up a little bit, and it usually pulls it about one more click through. And then I'm gonna pop this off. And then now I'm just going to take my um, cutters. And before I cut this, one of the things, because I've made mistakes in the past, is just to make sure everything is still like it should be. And it all appears it's like it should be. So it's moving across there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip up underneath here as cl close as I can get to that zip strip to take out the excess belt. And there we go. Then you remove your hemostats and you have a nice taut belt. So there we go. See it slides across. Now, as you can see, when it slides and hits the side, I mean, we still got plenty of room. I could have actually even left more material coming back onto there on the belt, but that's that's fine. And we come here, we hit the end stop. So actually, both sides, I could have left a little bit more, but that, this is enough. Um, and again, I made sure it's on each side. So anyways, these things really come in handy as a third hand, especially for putting these belts on if you're working by yourself. So anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. A lot more coming. Got this baby almost together. So uh, we'll take a look at some more things as we go through this. Cheers. Just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.